Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. Today I am reviewing this very small footprint heater which is known as the Drio Space Heater Atom 1. It's a three mode, three speed oscillating heater and it's got a very very small footprint. It's also a ceramic heater, and it's got a thermostat and it's got a 1 to 12 hour timer on it. It also has a remote control and it also has the ability to stop it from overheating if it falls over and it has a eco saving mode as well. Now at the moment in the UK as everyone's probably aware and you're probably suffering with it yourself there is a little bit of a gas and electricity problem with expenses and everyone's trying to cut their electricity and gas bills so what I've been trying to do is find alternative options that we can utilize in our home to help heat individual rooms rather than heat heating the entire house and this seemed like a really really good option so I got this from Amazon I'll leave a link below but as you can see I'm just going to show you on my phone the description of what you see on this uh, so it's 70 pounds but it says that it's uh, let's have a look it's got very good reviews by the way very very good reviews one of the reasons why I purchased it but if I just get that in focus so you should be able to see a bit more information about device that's what it looks like on Amazon and the specs are that it's got this kind of three mode settings it's got a thousand five hundred watts it's very very powerful um, and that can be varied really from a thousand watts to nine hundred watts and it has an eco mode and it has a fan only mode as well uh, 12 hour auto off timer um, tip off protection so if it tips over 70 degree oscillation 5 to 35 degrees adjustable digital thermostat cold to touch housing so it's not going to get warm if you touch it if you've got kids or pets and things and energy and space savings they're kind of the main things um, it goes into a bit more detail but I'll let you guys have a look at that if you go onto the link you can have a look at all that information below so I like the design of it it doesn't actually look like a heater at all it looks more like a speaker I also like the fact that this came with a remote control so in here we have got look we've got this remote control which is a really nice touch so very very slim fitting power up and down little menu option here the timer as well I think you can mute the speaker I think I imagine it beeps and it also does come with batteries so you can take that out it's got the batteries also included got information about the warranty so important safety instructions, knowing your heater, using your heater, kind of good stuff. Some information there about the base and the vent, different controls. Hope you can see that. The front is obviously going to be hot on this, and it's metal, so you don't want to touch the front at any point, especially you've got it on the heat mode. Uh, different mode settings, eco heat levels, temperature, oscillation, so all that kind of good stuff, pretty straightforward. It's really, really compact, which is really nice. Feels very high quality as well, so it looks like a speaker, like I said, it looks like a Bluetooth speaker, and on the sides you can see it's pretty light, doesn't weigh very much, and there appears to be like a little cover here to, like for a filter, and the, you see the fan at the back. And on the top, you can see the touch buttons. So, again, very easy to wipe down if you need to. But I love the way this looks. So, very, very interesting design. I saw nothing else like this um, on Amazon. I think at one point this was £50. People were saying in the comments that they put the price up, but I'm not surprised really. I imagine people are desperate for these sorts of heaters. Okay, so I've now got this plugged in. And um, when I plugged it in and switched it on, it beeped for the first time. So I think that's like, you know, there's some power going to it. And what I'll do is I'll just press the power on the top. And it says, I think, high three. That's the moment. And yeah, it's already hot, kicking out some heat. It's very, very quiet. This is very, very quiet. I'll press the plus. H1. So that's probably low mode. H2. H3. So that's incredibly quiet actually, that's very very quiet indeed, you can hardly hear, hardly making any noise. 
it sounds like a, a very, very quiet hairdryer, if that makes any sense. Um, and then this is a button at the top for oscillation. So that's really cool. And there's a little indicator to show that it's plugged in the front as well. And it's got some really great heat coming out of this, it's brilliant. And I'm going to switch the oscillation off and I'm just going to press this button at the top here. So we've got, there you go, temperature. So you can obviously increase the temperature. That's the maximum temperature. And yeah, that's getting really hot now. That's in eco mode. That's in fan mode, and that's in heat mode. So that's how you change the modes, just by pressing the uh, menu button to change the modes. It's nice and easy to use. And again, I'm just gonna use the remote control here, so I'm just gonna switch it off. Press the power button, do you have to hold it down? Ah, so when you press the power button, it has a countdown, counts down to actually switching off. That's interesting that it's got that. It doesn't switch off straight away. I imagine it maybe have to call down a little bit before it switches off. So after 10 seconds I think it's going to switch off. Yep, so that's powered down now. It's so quiet, it's unbelievably quiet actually. I'm going to press the power on again. And that's on its highest mode. And then if you want to, you can switch the beep mode off by pressing the little speaker. So I imagine the beep's muted now, which it is, yeah. So that takes the beep away. So that's really good because something to think about is when people are sleeping, or you've got this in a room maybe where you're sleeping, is that you don't want to have to press the button and beep and wake anybody up in a child's room or you know maybe you're sleeping with your, your partner. Um, I know on my air conditioning unit does that and it does wake my wife up. So this is nice that you can switch that feature off, which is good, the thought about that. And yes, you can adjust using the remote, it's plus and minus. And then I can put the swing on as well. And does it stay there? Yeah, cool. So you can adjust it and press the button again to keep it in a specific position. Or press it again and the swing changes. So that's really good. It works really, really well. Nice and simple to use. Cool. So what I'm going to do as always, guys, I'm going to use this for the next couple of weeks and I'll let you know how I get on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the second part of this video. I've been using this little heater now for almost a month and I wanted to give you my kind of final thoughts and feelings on this little device. First of all, this has been brilliant. I wish I'd actually bought one of these a long time ago. I didn't actually know about these particular heaters and I've got an oil-based heater uh, in my office which takes quite a while to heat up. Once it's up to temperature, they're very efficient because they keep the, retain the heat. But the problem is, is that when you want to heat a room very, very quickly and you're really, really cold, um, that sort of heater doesn't work very well. Whereas this little ceramic heater heats up our little living room or any room I put it in very, very quickly. So when you've got it on full power on the H3 mode, um, you'll find that in a reasonable size room, now that's a bit of a hard one to discuss, but we, our room is probably about sort of five, six meters by about seven or eight meters. So it's not a massive room, but it's in a reasonable size room. And when you switch this on, you'll feel the heat pretty much instantly. Within one or two minutes, you'll feel the temperature increase. And within about five or six minutes, you'll feel that the room feels reasonably warm. And if you leave it running for like 10 minutes, the room is very, very warm. So on the high mode, um, when you've got the temperature on the highest mode, you'll find that it will heat most rooms within five or six minutes, you'll get up to a reasonable temperature. And obviously after that long you have it on, the warmer the room will get. Now what I've been doing is, I usually have this on for approximately sort of five to six minutes just to take the chill off a room. And then I switch it off and then I switch it back on again, maybe sort of 20 minutes later. And I've found that's worked really well for me. Now, the running costs of using this, if you're using it on the H3 mode, which is this 1,500 watt 
you have capacity. If you are using it, and I put this into a, a calculator, and I'll put a screenshot here, is that it runs, if you run it for two hours a day, which is, you know, a reasonably long time, but I haven't been running it anywhere near that length, but let's say you ran it for an hour in the morning and an hour in the evening, um, using that method I mentioned, it would cost you roughly a pound a day. Now at the moment in the UK with my energy tariff, that's 33 pence a kilowatt hour. So um, with the calculations that works out to roughly about 30 pounds a month, which again, you know, is reasonable for something like this. It's gonna heat up a room very, very quickly. I'm sure if you wanted to heat up a room in a much slower way over a period of time, a, a um, oil-based heating may work more efficiently for you. But if you wanna heat something very, very quickly and you don't wanna be cold, this is definitely the move to make. Uh, and for me, for the cost, it's definitely cheaper than me running my central heating. So if you're looking to find a way to heat a room reasonably quickly, quite efficiently, and using obviously electricity and not gas, this is probably a good investment. Now, the data I just mentioned it was running this at 1,500 watts. Obviously, you could run this on the lower setting on the, on the H1 setting, uh, which is its lowest setting, and you'd save a lot more electricity, but, I'm talking about the figures mentioning on the H3, so I'm mentioning on the higher setting. So you could have further energy savings if you run this on the lower options. And what I generally do is I heat the room up at H3, which is the most powerful setting, to get the room heated up, and then I dial it down to H1, and sometimes have it running for a few more minutes just at a lower setting. So you can also do that as well, just top the room temperature up. The build quality on this thing is fantastic. It is very, very strong. It looks great as well. The tiny footprint is amazing. And because it weighs hardly anything, it's so light. It carries with literally like two fingers. It's so light, so it's carry handle at the back. I've been carrying this from my house, sometimes to my outside office, sometimes to one of the upstairs rooms. Because it's so light, you don't feel like it's a problem. You just carry it with you. So that's really, really good. So if you're someone that's not very, very strong, or you've got an elderly relative or someone you want to buy this for, this is a perfect thing to help heat a house because it's very, very portable. The front of the unit is the only bit that gets really hot. So once it's up to temperature, you don't want to touch this metal frame as you'll probably get burned. But um, other than that, it, the, the rest of the unit stays cool. So you, anywhere else you touch it, it stays cool. And it also has this great feature that if it falls over, it will switch off. So if you accidentally knock it over, which is quite unlikely because the base is really to be sturdy, um, it will also switch off. Um, the base itself obviously has this rotation, so you can use that to help heat a, a larger room, or if you want it, don't point it directly at yourself and pointing at other people, you can use that as well. So in the living room, that worked really well. And I said the controls on top are all touch sensitive, and they're very, very good. They work easily. I haven't really had to use the timer, but that, I said, I've tested it out. It works absolutely fine. So if you wanted to, you could set a timer on this. If you've got a particular room that you go into in the morning, maybe an office space that you don't want to be cold, you've got an early morning meeting, you can have the timer set so that this will switch on at a particular time, heat that room up, and then you'll be nice and warm and you, know, you, you won't have to worry about being cold. So the timer function on this is, is very, very helpful as well. So overall, this is a fantastic little heater. I think it's well worth the price. It's, um, I'll leave a link below in Amazon, but uh, where I got this from, but I said the build quality is fantastic. I've never heard of the brand before, but I don't think that pretty matters. I think they're a UK based company. And yeah, it's great. If you've got any questions or queries, or you wanna know anything about this before you buy it, let me know in the comments. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and I shall catch you on the next video.